Welcome back to another episode of Rift Storm. We're gonna be taking our boy Code Icarus and try to do um, Toronto or Paris. Um, last time we did Islamabad, so we're gonna do Toronto today. And in another episode, we're going to do Paris, which is, uh, um, I'm trying to remember the specific words. Paris is a, um, should be like the section ending mission. Uh, 12,000% damage. Wow, that's pretty good. Uh, I think I already equipped my best stuff for each class, so yeah, we could we could just go right on. Hopefully this gives me something stronger so I could get over 750. Because I want to use stronger stuff, of course. But um, I want to use the guns I'm used to. So let's see if this mission has anything unique or interesting. I missed the guy in the back. Apparently there's a pierce uh, limit. Okay, section clear. Magazines, perfect dodge, critical. Like, look at that weapon spray. Look at that weapon spray. And they're like, oh, well, there's weapon spray. You might see my sniper rifle didn't go straight, but I also didn't aim it. Okay. That's, that's pretty bad, actually. But I'll make it work. Yeah, that, that's actually so key bad. Maybe I'll find a skill or something that lets me have a pull down. I mean, reduce that. Um, reload. Zerk. Yeah, sure, why not? I figure for this run we'll go a little crazy. Now I take more damage if I get hit and I can't even shoot straight. Which is, you know, a recipe for disaster. Fair though, as long as my pistol aims straight, the sniper rifle, I'll fire point blank if need be against a boss or something. One thing I can see about this game already, after doing a couple of playthroughs. More ammo. I mean, more mag size. Pistol got 53. Sniper has 14. Um, it's very, like, I know it's pre alpha or whatever, but it's very same. You know, it's very. It's very same.
Don't forget my drones get the same benefits that I have. So it has increased damage, but it takes more damage. You know, all that good stuff. Doesn't like its uh, weapon spread is um, affected. Like it's very same and safe. Like it doesn't seem like anything interesting is gonna happen. That's why I'm trying to play to see what uh, Paris is about. Cause at least if I know if Paris is here, that's like the, I forget which type of mission they call it, but like the major mission. And I'm hoping for that major mission, there are unique objectives or different, uh, different layouts or something. Oh, I can't shoot over this. I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. Oh, that's right. I take more damage. Uh, you know, I don't want to be bothered. I'll do something. Man, I'm taking a hit. Uh, I'm hitting an enemy. If I get hit, I explode near me because I take extra damage anyway. From my uh, oh, is this a is this a choice? Let's go down. See what's down. Nothing to home, nothing to write home about right here so far. Pretty straightforward mission area. I know I said this in previous episodes. I'm hoping there's some type of like bonus area or something, you know? I got that one for bonus damage since I tend to fire the pistol at point blank and my sniper is pretty much useless. Okay, so this is a store. Uh, critical damage. For some reason I thought it was giving me a choice. I can't afford that. I'm not really big on any of those, to be honest with you. I wish the store was colored differently on the map because it's also green, like a normal room. This room is red because it's a fighting room. There needs to be more um, interesting spaces. I get that freaking um, critical, it does a tremendous amount of damage. Bullets ricochet off a wall.
Oh, it bounced multiple. Okay, that's actually useful. At least for my inaccurate sniper. The day I don't take the self revive is the day I'm gonna need to self revive. You know how that goes. A challenge room. today. Building myself as a glass cannon and having my drone also be a glass cannon that dies anyway is kind of busted, to be honest. I'm hoping there's a lot of build and weapon variety here. I thought this was a... Okay, here we go. I was in this room before, so I knew what to do. This room came up the same exact way, but no change. I was hoping there would be more, like maybe some enemies rushing my uh, stationary guns or something, but can't even get that. I'll take this. So that's a battle room. So this must be the store. I've never seen a branching path. Oh, that's a challenge room. All right, I'll take your challenge. I forgot my robots get bouncing bullets too. That is. That's definitely OP. I think I got some uh, essence for that room. I could deal with a little more. Or some type of reward for it to be a, a quote unquote challenge. This room is more of a challenge room than a challenge room. Especially when you factor in the fact I take extra damage. See if the boss is gonna be worth anything. Probably not. Um, before I buy an essence, I mean buy a health. Let me see what's going on here. Let's just buy that. 
and I'm under the amount I need for the health. So remember, this corrosive aura should also go to my drone. Because I got the perfect dodge, I got my ammo full. Alright, I'm gonna stop trolling before I get killed. Alright, that's how I just got stunned. That was 100% on me. My thing was on cooldown and I wasn't paying attention. Almost then escaped that. I rolled anyway because you never know with these type of games. You never know. That wraps up Toronto. Let's see what we got here. 523,000 damage, 17,000 was the highest hit. Um, let's see what type of guns we have. Level 15, I think that's my last skill I unlock. Submachine gun, submachine gun, sniper, sniper. Sniper's a booty. This sniper is booty. This sniper is booty. They might make me take something just to get over. I might replace my submachine. I mean, my pistol here with a submachine gun or this this mini gun. Um, do I have a normal assault rifle? 132, 132, 163, 163, 10, 100, 10, 100. Same exact gun. Perfect dodge gives me better stuff though. So, perfect dodge gives me mana. So, um, 1096, 1303. This has a higher base damage, but this one gives me a um, perfect charge shot bonus. But this also has a higher bar so I'm gonna drop this one 2275 I could probably take this and do um, Paris so um, let's gear up right let's gear up and we're gonna do the Paris 750 because that was Toronto Notice that the the, um, the backgrounds don't really match the levels. Islamabad had its own background, but that was about it. Um, so let's try to get over seven. 
This is 106, so 162, 171. That should be good. 845. Okay, there we go. Oh, I wanted to check out my other skill here. Mark Hubris. A fully charged attack inflicts a mark stack for 10 seconds. The drone prioritizes targets with mark. Drones deal extra damage to enemies for every mark stack the enemy has. Alright, that's pretty good. And then if I do Skyburst explode in this drone, any marked enemy gets extra damage. Um... Yes, let's go and uh now do with Paris. This is Operation Centric Worm Hunt. And this was Operation Calamari Blue. Okay. Operation Centric Worm Hunt. Oh, this is a new thing. On March 1st, 2024, Task Force Gray has confirmed the presence of a shade resurgence and it's spreading fast. All units are to be put on alert and a response, requested to respond to the nearest report of shade activity with haste. Uh huh, uh huh. I'm based in a catacomb. This sounds like it should be a custom map and not just a box. So let's jump in and find out. I'm hoping when it gets to tier one, it's not the same. Okay, hold on, we got some story here. Once you pass Pharaoh, your weapon's free. But I can shoot right now, so. All right, team, you pass Pharaoh, keep the formation tight. Oh, those are the shades that are in the loading screen. No more bugs, huh? I forgot this was a um, assault rifle. I'm like, this pistol is firing fast. Different background, but drum magazines 250 hunter's eye perfect charge 30%. Grant one cipher, uh, 250% magazine size. I'm down 15% damage, but I could get damage from other places. But 84 bullets is still 84 bullets. Hold up, I got stuck there. Now we're getting to it. Now it's getting to be a challenge. I'm not a fan of enemies that dash at you like that because you can see as at some points, they missed me. Oh, they're still. Of course, they're still. I may have to eat my words about the, uh... backstab no no because if things come near me I want them to die faster
had a pot now. Please don't miss those rockets, those are very expensive and mana costs there. At least when you kill her, the shielded enemies also go with her. So that's a little... is a fair amount of enemies a respectable amount of enemies are we done here thank you I didn't get a power of crystal for that. That's crazy. What you mean mission complete? Paris was five minutes long. Operation Centric Worm Hunt was five minutes long. I didn't even get any, I got one artifact. And it's a assault rifle, and it's booty, of course. So what just happened? Are we done? Did I unlock tier two? Okay, I unlocked tier two. Threat level unlock. New missions for better rewards. They do change locations though. That is a that's a great sign. That is a great sign. Um, yeah, there's nothing new going on here. I still have to continue to find better guns to level up my uh, power level, light level, however you want to refer to it. I think I'm 861, so I could do 750 Irvine. Can't do none of these. Um, and I could do Newcastle. But that would be for next time. When I play uh, Rift Storm. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time.